What? You aren't able to work today? I'm sorry, but I have something important I must do today. But what should I do if it gets busy? Both Nagisa and Ayumi have the day off as well. You'll be okay. I called someone promising in to help out. <laughs> Wait, you called someone in to help out? That's what I said. Huh? I think we need a helper? This is what she considers promising help to be? <laughs> Quit mucking about. The store's open for business. Are you sure it's a good idea to leave your own bustling beach shack unattended for today? All my employees have acquired the skill set to manage my shack when I'm not there, so there is no risk in leaving them on their own. <sighs> you don't say. Yo! Hmm? Hey there, where's Chizuru? Not here. Instead, it's the old man from Southern Winds. See you later. Are you saying you won't eat anything my sister hasn't made? Here you go. Shrimp fried rice. How did you know? I haven't even ordered yet. It was written all over your face the minute you set foot in here. Stop complaining and just eat it. Sh sure. Oh. It's delicious. So very delicious. Cheese and rose is salt flavored, emphasizing the shrimp's delicate taste. But this is great too with its garlic, hot sesame oil, and eggs mixed all together. But obviously, Chizuru's is far more superior than this. This only oh. tastes as good because I'm obviously starving right now. This doesn't count as cheating. This is just a gristled old dude. Just <laughs> shut up and eat already. <laughs> Though, he sensed and overcame the expectations of what the customer wanted before they were able to think for themselves. All right, let's get to work and start serving these customers, okay? Hey, excuse me, I'd like some... Here's your curry. Oh, already? You ordered ramen, right? Wow, so tasty. There's a sense of elegance despite the atmosphere. It's fast, it's cheap, and it's good. There's nothing to complain about here. Looks like we're getting a real good crowd of customers here. What's with this empty seat not being filled? Welcome to the Lemon Shack. Won't you please have a seat? What should we do? It's kind of creepy. Mm. Do you mind if we sit back there instead? Sh sure, go right ahead. <laughs> what the gills going on? I'm not sure. Huh? What's the fake squid girl doing here? Hey, fake squid number three. Hand me that can. Yeah, you squid and go. Now go chop some vegetables for me. Bye, bot. Uh. Hey, old man. When did you bring that disturbing robot in? The customers are totally creeped out. That's too bad. We're short-staffed right now. Create a distraction. Have it your way. Hey, squid girl, go turn on the TV to sports. Got it, sucker. Hey! The hell did you do to my fake squid number three? How the fish should I know? All I did was turn the TV onto the sports channel. Fake squid number three is operated by TV remotes, fool! The power button flicks on or self-destruct mode. Why would you set the most used button on the remote as the self-destruct mode? Uh, why is it hooked up to just any old TV remote anyway? Why didn't it have its own personal remote? What the heck are you talking about? If there were a lot of remote controls lying around, there's no question you'd definitely lose them all! Uh, of, of course, course you friggin' would. Well, it looks like the customers have all left. Well, we were almost out of ingredients anyway. Probably a good idea to take a break now. Yeah, sounds good. Would you mind running over huh? to the store real quick for us? What? Why would I bother doing that for you? I'll give you an allowance. Oh, I love fetching ink and groceries. <laughs> I'm gonna pop over to my store and check it out. I have a responsibility as the owner. Okay, go say hi. <laughs> Summertime calls for popsicles. <laughs> what are you squidding one? I have nothing to squid you, sea dog. Strays go. Huh? Squid girl number three? But didn't you already explode today? 
This one is fake squid girl number four. Don't you see the mole there? Where the squid is the old man hiding out? Oh no, maybe he's turned into a fake squid? Don't be stupid! Uh, Answer the question, where are the stray dogs? Why are you up in a tree? Uh, are you scared of a bunch of stray dogs running around? There are no dogs that I don't fear! He just admitted it, right? Who on earth would be glad if a dog decided to attack? Aren't you a bit scared of those marauding hell beasts too? Yeah, but at least I'm not afraid to admit it. I thought so. Now deal with those ravaging beasts behind you. Uh, how'd they get here? Hurry and chase them off! I can't! Don't give up now! You will never know until you give it your all! That's not Squid and Bear! You're hiding up in a cracking tree! This calls for... Ammo! Attack now, fake Squid Girl number four! Is just like these. How squid you find out? Squid girl! I'm here now. Hi! Hey! hey. If you don't mind, I'm squidding over to Sane's house for a while. Okay, oh, say hi for me. Will do. I never thought I would live to see the day that Squid Girl would actually visit Sanae's house willingly. Sanae has been very kind and dependable to all of us girls. She shows up for every game and really cheers the whole team on. You mean the girls' baseball team? Yeah, she always brings us refreshments, which we really appreciate having. Oh? Even for the Invasion Club, we've somehow ended up working great together in some sort of partnership. Well, if you say so, just make sure you're home before dark. Okay. See you later! You think maybe Sane has finally grown out of her unhealthy squid girl obsession? One can only <laughs> hope. <laughs> <laughs> this plot is called, if you want to catch the general, then first catch the horse it rides on! First, befriend Kiyomi, who is Squiddy's best friend. Then, if Kiyomi invites her, Squiddy is sure to follow! And eventually, after feeling safe, Squiddy will come visit me all alone. And we'll be mine! <laughs> oh no! No, 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 no! I need to put these away so Kiyomi isn't creeped out by them. This, and that, and this. Oh no, I just need to hide it all! <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> I brought Squid Girl with me. Why, hello there, Sanae. Hi, Squiddy. Come on in. <laughs> <sighs> it's good surprisingly nice here. You can eat all you want. Shrimp chips are just the best. <laughs> you can eat them all if you want to. It's a little chilly in here. Is it okay if I turn it up a bit, Sanae? Here's the Squid and Remote. <laughs> Thanks for finding it, Squiddy. <laughs> Good how you do it. Is that so? You're really great at this. Huh? You're both so good at dancing to this music. What's up with this unnerving presence I feel? Oh, wow. Looks like it's time for me to swim on home. Really? So soon? That's a shame. Thanks for Squid and having us. Thanks. Come again soon. I had lots of fun today. Sanae is so nice, isn't she? If that's what you want to believe about her, Kiyomi. Uh, but I'm not her biggest Kraken fan. It is rare to see you being so uncomfortable around her. I'm uh -huh. certain she can be a great person. Huh? huh? <laughs> Yahoo! I managed to find it! Be free, my squiddies! Oh, I need to log the date's activities right away! <laughs> Squiddy had 85 grams of shrimp.
shrimp chips at 567 calories and is still the same height. And today's best shot is... Oh, you're so adorable! Squiddy, I love you so much! Excuse me, I forgot something. <laughs> yep, Sanae Nagatsuki is officially dead. in on you, but your family said it was all right for me to just come up to your room. Uh, um, yeah, it's fine. Perfectly fine. So, I, uh... Uh, right, you forgot something. Uh, is it this or this? Here's a body pillow. Thanks, I... Oh, no thanks. I really just came back to pick up my bag. <laughs> right, of course, here it is. <laughs> Crap, I'm so grossly awkward right now. I know I'm totally creeping her out. Thanks so much. I could just own my dirty little obsession. <coughs> well, it looks like you've caught me with my hand in the cookie jar. With me and my Squiddy collection. I planned on showing you my entire collection once I had acquired more. Huh? When you had more? That's it, Sanae. Keep up the creep factor. Did you, um, make all this yourself or buy them from around here? What? What do I do? Making them is far worse for my image than admitting to collecting all this? Well, screw it all! Yeah, that's right. Got a problem with it? Everything here is of my own making. I personally designed everything. What? That's right. All of it? Yep, all of it. R really? All of it? Huh? Yep, she's officially disturbed. Well, the cat's out of the bag now. In for a penny, in for a pound. A... Uh, a for abomination? A for atrocious? Or A for Annihilate! Amazing work, Sunny! Huh? I'd heard about your love for Squiddy, but I severely underestimated the lengths you would go to! You're truly amazing, Sunny! Uh, so, you're sure that you're okay? You mean you really don't despise me? Of course I don't! Or think I'm disgusting? Not one bit! <laughs> Quite the opposite, I admire you for your single-minded love! Jeez! An angel! By chance, if you made any more Squiddy memorabilia, I would love to see it. Uh, yeah, I have a bunch more. <laughs> a wallet, a cute little mug, and this t-shirt here, it's my favorite. I've always wanted to show someone all of this. This is a lap pillow. My cringe car or embarrassing ink car? I've, I've never seen Sana A this happy before. Right, it's Squid. sort of I'm weird. I'm judging about that last one. I'm so glad you're not weirded out. My Squiddy uh, collection means everything to me. You have nothing to worry about. Well, you might as well take all this for yourself. All of it? But it's your precious Squid Girl collection. I wouldn't dream of it. Don't you worry. I have plenty of spares to give away. Spares? Since Kiyomi insists she's such a gilly good person, I'm gonna try to be a better squid and be nice to her despite Sane's creepy obsession. Good luck. Squid girl! Check these out! Sane made all of these collectibles of you herself! I can't imagine being this loved by someone. You say you're not the biggest fan of hers, but you're really lucky to have her. We should try and hang out with her some more. You know what I mean. I bet you could learn to like her. Sure, she might be a little intense, but aren't we all in so fun? Break the law? Ah. Uh, hey, hey, what's the police doing in here? Apparently, someone suspicious has been frequenting her store. Hmm, what should we do about it? Eiko, can I have some coffee? Ramen for me, please. I'll have some curry over here. Give me one. Here? Over here! It's all fine. To be perfectly honest, they're all friggin' suspicious. Failure makes success. Eat, eat. Time to eat up. <gasps> Excuse me, miss. What is that thing? Hmm? Uh, my life can be such a squid and bother. Crap! It's Squid Girl? You, you don't understand. That's just a c costume. It's time for it's the government to finally prevail. Huh? This isn't costume.
than likely that you are their prime suspect. Just wait and see what happens if you dare mention invasion around them at any time. Uh, I'll be on my best little mama's behavior. Uh, excuse me? Can I have an iced coffee, please? Uh, this is your chance to shine, Squid Girl. Go show her how harmless you can really be. Right, I got this. One nice coffee for the pretty officer. Uh, thank you very much. Enjoy! Now she's gone and done it! What is all this black stuff? Uh, I'm so sorry, but don't worry about it. It's only a little squid ink after all. Why is she squirting that venomous squid ink all over an officer of the law? You're that strange squid thing behind the rumors circling the precinct. But I haven't done anything against the Kraken Law, officer! I just went merged from the ocean to exact revenge on the filthy humans for polluting the sea! You're exposing yourself, you silly fool! I'm taking you into questioning. What? Oh, dear. What do we do? Finally, someone understands the terror of the squid person! <sighs> no, we get away! What are you doing? Stop squirming around! We'll talk more about this. We three geniuses have done it again! A ray gun that turns everything to jelly within seconds! We've oh. <laughs> <laughs> done it again! We are surely done! Indeed we are! Yahoo! You three get back here right now! We are in your debt, Three Stooges! Did you ever catch the Three Stooges? Uh, huh? What Stooges? Mm, the people you were just chasing? <laughs> Are you saying I was just chasing something? Huh? What? Yahoo! 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 <laughs> what the hell you do to her? It seems the suspicious person still hasn't bothered to show their face here yet. I don't really think... A suspicious person would try to approach you while dressed in that police uniform. Oh, you're totally right! This shouldn't draw any attention, now would it? Well, uh, I'm not sure about that. Yes and no. Oh! Actually, I think you might be standing out more. Stop rifling through it. Stop being a crybaby. I'm only borrowing it for a minute. Give me back my wallet. That's not yours. Give it back. You there. What are you Look. doing? Huh? Who are you, lady? Uh, I am a police officer of the law. You think I would actually believe that? Well, then, I'll show you my badge. <laughs> Anyway, I'm a police officer, and you need to give him his wallet back now. You still haven't been able to prove your identity to me. What now? Give it up, you sleazy old squid. Thank you so much, Squid Girly. Thank you for helping out. What was that police badge you were talking about? You carry it to prove you're a police officer to civilians. With this, you are able to arrest the bad guys and drag them to jail. Oh, cool. So can I look at it then? Of course you can. Ah, <sighs> so this is a police badge. You can apprehend the bad guys with this. It all makes sense huh? now. <laughs> yeah! I'll be squinting this police badge from you! G give it back or I'll have to arrest you! 
I don't squid Moana. Besides, you can't arrest me without this in your clammy hands. No matter what kind of invasion tactics you try to rain down upon me. <laughs> That's the squid person I know and fear. It's my show now! <laughs> well, I have a debt to repay, so I'll give you a second chance. Second chance? But if you run off with it, I have no problem with calling for immediate backup. And since this counts as an obstruction of justice towards a civil servant, you can serve up to three years in jail or be fined for up to 500,000 yen. In that case, here's your rag rack. <sighs> I was only trying to pull a fast one on you, officer ma'am. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I took you way too seriously. You'll find that I'm always on the side of the law and squids, officer. Oh. Thanks for your cooperation, squid girl. Pleasure. <laughs> I worry about both of them. <laughs>